Well, as part of our Crisis in the Classroom series, we're taking a look at school safety. The Garden Valley School District is one of the few districts that allow staff to have guns on campus. And with the growing number of school shootings, they say this, among other security measures, is helping keep their students and staff safe. School started this week at the Garden Valley School District. And for Superintendent Randy Thompson, safety is top priority. Well, just like we are in the business of educating our school children, we also recognize the importance of educating ourselves on the issues that are important in today's world. One of them is school safety. Since 2014, Garden Valley has allowed its staff to have guns on campus. The school board has adopted a policy that allows uh, the use of weapons on campus uh, to uh, defend and promote safety as needed. And with recent school shootings, the superintendent says they're not taking any chances. We recognize that from time to time there could be a threat to our school, to our students, our staff, or our faculty, and we want to be prepared to address that. The school has taken other precautions to keep their students safe, such as keeping their doors closed. We keep all of our doors secured and locked throughout the school day and monitoring all visitors that come in and out of the school. You actually have to buzz in, talk to receptionists. Welcome, how can I help you? And they'll give you the green light to actually go in the school. With nearly 300 kids K through 12th grade at the school, all students must communicate with teachers on where they're going after school. And teachers won't allow students to leave with an adult unless they know who they are. Randy says while nothing can ever really prepare you for a school shooting, they do their best to make sure everyone is safe. We feel the need to constantly educate ourselves on those things that we can do to ensure the safety of everyone within the walls of Garden Valley Schools. Well, as other school districts begin classes, CBS2 will be taking a look at how they're working to keep their students and staff safe. Live in studio, Michaela Ellett, CBS2 News.